is a disaster. Very messy landing. Jade Barbosa is one of the most successful Brazilian gymnasts of the last 15 years. She's a two-time world bronze medalist, four-time Pan American Games medalist, and nine-time South American Games champion. Barbosa became the first Brazilian gymnast to win an all-around world medal. Her strongest event is vault, where she won a bronze medal at the 2010 World Championships. Jade has performed in Amanar, and even trained at Xiong. During the vault final at the 2011 World Championships, she performed a clean double-twisting Yurchenko as her first vault, receiving the third highest execution score of the competition. But on her second vault, a half-on-half -half out in stretched position, she twisted her ankle while lunging out in order to control the landing. While she didn't fall, she had to make two extra adjustments which cost her the bronze medal. Jade finished the final in fourth place, just one-tenth behind the bronze medalist. She held back her tears and left the mat limping, visibly in pain. The Brazilian gymnast was assisted right away by the medical team. Jade was set to compete at the 2011 Pan American Games, but withdrew from the team in order to rehabilitate her ankle. Injuries have been a reoccurring issue in Jade's career. During the vault rotation and qualifications at the 2019 World Championships, she suffered an ACL injury and missed the rest of the competition. She was unable to help the Brazilian team qualify for the 2021 Tokyo Olympic Games, but has now fully recovered from the injury and is preparing for the upcoming meets while doing physiotherapy on a regular basis. Michaela Moroni is known as one of the greatest vaulters of all time. She's a three-time world champion and an Olympic gold medalist. But the road to achieving her Olympic dream wasn't without its setbacks. During warm-ups on the second day of competition at the 2012 Visa Championships, Moroni suffered a concussion and broke a bone in her nose when she landed on her back during a tumbling pass on floor. She withdrew from the rest of the competition, and the injury forced her to take a week off training, putting her dreams of making the Olympic team on hold. Um, I got home, and I pretty much had really, like, black eyes. I kind of looked like a zombie, and I was a little bit scary. But, um, it was a week off of training, and it was kind of, it was obviously, like, hard to get back from that because you know that everybody's training, and, but I just had to, like, stay calm and know that I could do it and I mean I was in the gym every day doing conditioning and stretching so I was staying fit and um, so when I got back I felt good and felt ready to start doing all this stuff. I was pretty shocked I was like wow am I really not going to compete the second day because the second day is like the most important day that's when you like finish up the competition and I was actually really sad because um, a lot of the people and fans you know they all want to watch you compete and my whole family was there and that was probably like the worst part for me and I had a really pretty leotard so I was kind of mad about that so more of like the little things that I was kind of mad about but obviously I had to um, like I had a concussion so it was pretty bad. You did not come back I, pretty quickly. I stayed in really good shape um, I just did a lot of conditioning and all the stuff that I could do that wouldn't um, affect my head or my nose or anything so I did it safely and that's I mean that's why that I feel good now. Fortunately, she was cleared to compete just days before trials and went on to win the vault title, securing her spot on the team. She represented the United States at the 2012 London Games and went home with two medals, a team gold and a silver medal on vault, despite a fall in the final and competing with a fractured chin and a broken toe. Anna Pavlova is one of the most beloved Russian gymnasts of all time. She was known for her beautiful lines and gorgeous presentations, as well as her incredible ring positions. Her unique beam style resembled old-school gymnastics mixed with a more modern approach to a routine composition. Anna is a two-time Olympic bronze medalist, a five-time European silver medalist, and a world bronze medalist. 
While competing at the 2008 Stuttgart World Cup, Pavlova tore two ligaments in her knee during her beam dismount. Visibly in pain, she was carried right away from the podium with the help of the medical staff. Surgery was required to reattach the ligaments, which made Anna question whether she would be able to return to gymnastics ever again. Ten months later, she resumed training but was never able to go back to her previous form and difficulty. After competing in small to medium-sized meets for three years, Anna decided to change her nationality and stopped representing Russia. She felt the Russian Federation did not give her the opportunity she wanted. In 2014, she was selected to compete at the European Championships and won her first medal at a major international meet since 2008, a silver on vault. This was Azerbaijan's first ever medal at the Europeans and Anna's first medal representing the country. In December 2015, Pavlova officially announced her retirement from elite gymnastics and expressed her desire to continue as a coach.